What's up love? So it's your girl April and I'm going to be doing another clip-in video. This one is once again by Better Length. This is going to be the actual third video that I've done for them. And I will be honest to tell you, I do like them as well as I like them just as much as I love Irresistible Me, um, which is another brand that I swear by. So with the two of these, I really, really like them. For one, their clip-ins actually stay in your hair, so it's not like they're slipping out or they're falling out. These stay in your hair just as well as Irresistible Me's. So this one here is their 20 inch, I do believe it's 20 inches, um, 20 inches, okay? Um, 20 inches, yeah, uh, kinky straight hair. And the color is like, I think like a natural color, 1B and number 2. So I went ahead and washed my hair today, flat ironed it. I had to flat iron it a little bit different today because... For one, if I'm yelling, please excuse me because my ears have been popping. My allergies have been killing me for the past two days. So my ears are like totally popping and I'm probably like super duper loud and don't even realize it. But I, oh God, I feel horrible. So um, like I was saying, I had to actually go ahead and um, flat iron my hair different today because um, normally when I flat iron it I'll put like different type of moisturizers in it so it can stay moisturized but it also makes it look silky my, like my hair texture will come out really silky because I do have like fine texture hair so today all I could do basically was spray in some heat protectant and then flat iron it so more or less it could be like a dry texture and it could blend better with these clippings right here so they do come coiled up um, the clips so already in them and like I said these are the clips that I actually really like because the actual clips have like the hooks on them so which that helps in not slipping out your head so let's see how many pieces these come with so it comes with seven clippings and <clears throat> excuse me the most important thing is to make sure that you measure it to the back of your head around your head before you start clipping them in because if you don't, then they're going to be too big. So it comes in this cute little box so you can keep them in it. I have like loads of clippings from different companies. And I really, some of them I like, but I don't like as much. So I won't really wear them. But I will wear these. I remember the first time I did their video. Oh my God, I wore those clippings in my hair for two weeks straight. I did not remove them. That's how good their clippings are. Like seriously, they don't slip out. And I was so amazed. And just like the same with Irresistible Me. Oh my God they stay in so I really really like that so beforehand I already got my hair sectioned out so this is the back portion and it's probably not even part but that's okay the braids right here are just for my leave out so you know it covers up the front of my clippings and this is how I want my hair to be styled I also have my hairspray or see instant freeze one of my face they did change the packaging um that's how long I went without it. I was using my old one and my pump spray bottle. So I am so glad. This is the Extreme Hold and I love it. I also have a teasing brush that you could get from Sally's Beauty. That's where I got these from. Um, but that from, I have some clips and some other clips. And that's about, oh, yeah, and a rat tail comb. A couple of rat tail combs because I need to section out my hair. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the back portion you want to make sure that that is always um like the right length so some of them you could just put aside like i know the nape of my neck is not this short this one might be so this one seems like it'll fit so i'm just going to lay that across my lap and then there is another one that is a tiny bit shorter seems to fit a whole lot better this really really long one is basically for right about here so that okay ladies so it is time to put these clippings in my hair and get to going so i'm going to use my rat tail comb of course to part my hair and i'm going to also use some hairspray and my teasing brush yeah i couldn't find it it was buried underneath the hair and i'm just going to tease my hair to the root because my hair is fine and normally the clippings will slip through they won't hold on or grasp my hair so i have to do this each time i put in clippings and it really holds my hair um you don't have to use hairspray if you have like thicker or coarser hair and you probably won't have to tease it but for those who have like fine straight hair then i would highly suggest teasing it so that way your clippings can stay in so I'm just going to do this for each section of my hair and the hairspray, I am like the hairspray queen. I love me some hairspray, especially if it's good hairspray, like for real, I love hairspray. 
But yeah, so Aussie Instant Freeze, Extreme Hold, love it, especially the one in the aerosol can. So here I go, I'm just still going ahead and I'm sectioning off my hair to make these clip-ins fit. The hair texture is really pretty, it's kinky, straight hair, but as you can see, my hair texture is a little bit different. So I'm just going to try my ble my best bleh, to blend it in with my own natural hair. I do love kinky straight hair. Oh my God, I love it. Do you see the ripples in the hair? So, so pretty. So for all of you naturalistas who have hair textures that are kinky straight, kinky hair, I would highly suggest trying this out. There are loads of different clip-ins on the market. I do like better lens clip-ins as well as their textures. This, like I said, is the third one for me doing for them. So yeah, they have some really great clip-ins, especially because they grasp onto your hair. So they use some really good clips for this. So I'm just still teasing away and adding more hair to my own head. I love wearing clip-ins, especially in the summertime here in Arizona. OMG, it was like 117 degrees outside today. Seriously, y'all. I was rocking these clip-ins, so I've had them in for almost a week now. Um, by the time you see this video, it'll be like a week. So now onto the front portion of my hair. And the way they're cut is a little bit different. I did say they came with, I think, seven or eight. It really isn't enough. Um, normally, I'll have like, uh, probably like ten. And the way they're cut, they're made a little bit different, so this one was a little bit of a challenge for me. Especially in the frontal portion. And it doesn't really take much for me to conceal clip-ins, I just, you know, basically take out a little bit of leave out. And yeah, the part is not straight right there, but that's okay. I'm going to take the clip-ins and lay it in a different direction because I wanted some volume to my hair in the front. But like I said, these there wasn't enough clippings for the style that I was going for or basically the way that I'm used to doing clippings in my hair when I like to wear them. I always do it like this, but there weren't enough clippings for me. So I got a little bit challenged again. And this time I'm gonna take the clip-in and I'm going to put it to the other opposite direction. So they're kind of like laying up against each other, you know, frontward or backwards, whatever you want to call it, frontward or, you guys get the gist of it, right? Because I really don't know how to explain that. But yeah, so hairspray it down, tease it, and here we go with the clippings again. So this is where I came into with the challenge, okay? So this was all the clippings that were basically left. And normally I have way more. And as you can see, my hair is really not blending that great. And it was a bit of a challenge because normally I'll have like two left um, when I use my other ones. So I'm going to do something totally different. I did go ahead and brush my hair forward. Because this time around, I'm going to do a high-low, uh, yeah, high-low ponytail, bun, what have you, you know. And as you can see, my hair doesn't really blend that well with these clippings. They're very thick, which is a good thing, and I'm trying to put it into a ponytail. But because my hair is thin, you can see the clips on one of the sides. So I continue to brush it, and it really didn't work out that great for me. As you can see, I'm using like major hairspray on this and I just wash my hair and you can see the clip right there and so I don't want a clip head so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to remove the front row which I already went ahead and done and or the longest one that was in the back row and I'm just going to fix my ponytail and I'm going to take that track that I removed and I'm going to wrap it around the front portion of my hair that way I can still get the volume that I wanted for this high low ponytail bun type thing on twist the hair around so it doesn't untangle or unravel and pin it down okay yes pin it down then I'm going to use my strand maximizer to fill in any thin hairs and missing gaps in my head and that should be about it y'all okay ladies so there you have it I actually had to do the front portion over because the way they're 
clips clippings are cut it really doesn't fit my head to where i needed to for certain hairstyles so i just decided to take the last track out which was right here and put it wrap it around because i wanted the volume um other than that they were kind of long for the hairstyle i was going for but i did achieve like the high low bun and yeah so the hair texture is really pretty like i said it is the kinky straight so it kind of blends in all right with my hair my hair is a little bit more silkier but hopefully you won't be able to tell i guess if i flat iron his hair it won't be so noticeable meaning flat iron the um clippings and it won't be so noticeable like that but it's hot out and this is the style that i was going for so yes um Gave me some baby hair, slicked them down, and I'll probably have to situate the bun a little bit because I just threw it on a kind of like messy. I had had enough, okay? Um, extra part. So what I went ahead and did with the better length extensions because the texture was different from mine. You can tell when I looked in the mirror um, and I used the other mirror, you can tell like the ripples in my hair did not blend at all. So it was kind of noticeable to me. Not so noticeable, but to me it kind of like irritated me. So what I went ahead and did is I flat ironed. I took them all out and I flat ironed them. So this is them flat ironed. They're not silky straight, but they did get like a yakky texture straight, which blends perfectly with my hair. It looks exactly like my hair. But for the most part, it does look like really, really believable um it blends in so well with my natural hair so now i'm like even more happier but they don't they're not cut correctly so i had to kind of like maneuver them and make them fit to my liking normally i would do it a little bit different when i do my clippings but with this one i had a bit of a challenge but at the end it worked out really great so like i said it gets like a yakky texture straight and i'm hoping that it doesn't tangle up of course i'm not going to take these out once i put them in i'm not going to take them out and what i did here to give me some of the volume is i put the clip in going backwards and the one in front of it going this way so they're kind of like pushed together so that way it gives me some height let me tell y'all there is so much hairspray and gel or edge tamer in my hair right now that my edges are like laid down for days what i used was the um even new york 24 hour edge tamer extra mega hold you know girls when i do hairspray or whatever it's always extra mega super extreme whatever because my hair is so fine it's hard to hold it down so i don't think i'm gonna have to use no more hairspray for a minute especially with these clippings but what i'm gonna do tonight is i'm just gonna wrap it up like i would do my normal hair um i've done that before with my clippings and they've stayed in and we'll see how it goes from there so you can check them out like i said i'll post the information below let me know what you think and one more thing they do shed so just keep that in mind that they do shed but i'll see you girls and guys on my next video